Shalom guys, I think you're doing fantastic. Today is the 24th of December, 2020. Happy birthday, happy anniversary, all that kind of stuff, if it is a special day for you. Um, those of you who are returning, welcome back. And um, those of you who are brand new and just found this channel first time, welcome. I do all kinds of stuff on my channel as far as... Um, you know cards and things I have homemade decks that I use I uh, use a living language and scripture but I'm not religious or um, churchy but I could come across real heavy uh, that way towards you because I do use a living language and stuff I just know who my Elohim is and that is Jehovah who is maker in heaven of earth and uh, I love him very much and I'm not ashamed of him He's the only one people who gives us salvation, which is Yeshua, and who gives us worth. So anyway, that's who I am. If you stay, you stay. If you don't, then thanks for checking me out. All right, guys, let's get in here and see what's going on today. You know, I just appreciate you for all that you do, uh, that you uh, guide the way and help us through. Jehovah rebuke and bind and block every foul, demonic, wicked, dark energy and shove them down to the lower parts of the earth. I thank you, Jehovah, that you are our shield and our buckler. I thank you that you go before us and you prepare the way. And uh, you deliver us out of all our affliction from the wicked who think that they are owning everything and they don't. You own the earth. And uh, you just set them up for their own hurt for what they do to people. And the good people will rise to the occasion and... Um, you're going to bless us more and more every day. The light gets brighter and brighter. The true light. The true light. What's going on today, Jehovah, that you want to bring out? What's known today? What's known, Jehovah, that needs to come out here? What's known today? Thank you. The emperor is here. And uh, headship, fathers, um... The emperor could be uh, your, you know, just some type of masculine type of energy. It could be a boss. Um, the emperor has a counterpart. And there's the lower version of the empress that just jumped out here. So something's known about this emperor and um, high discernment with the nine of pentacles coming out here. Um, this is somebody who's whole within. If there's a war going on around this... Uh, boss figure or uh, masculine passionate uh, energy there's high discernment around it whatever that is okay the emperor get up and take a risk and something's known about that this is the dalit in the hebrew as we know and that's um the door opening or shutting a door here um Weak and poor, dangling of the head. So, you know, the Nine of Pentacles, as we know, is loneliness for some people. And some people have been segregated and used for their gifts. Well, that's real nice, isn't it? Anyway, what's hidden? What's hidden, Jehovah, in the now that we need to know of? But somebody has high discernment about this, uh, whoever this emperor is for you, this masculine energy that some type of leadership or older person should be mature or somebody who's warring all the time or a hothead or stubborn um there's a magician here in the hidden this is somebody who's got everything that they need to produce something um if this is a manipulator, then this is a manipulator. This is a communication of any kind as well. It's the Aleph head, right? We have the DA here. Um, some people adding things together. The word add is also here. Uh, this is So the Aleph head alone is somebody who leads a clan of people. And people are dealing with... Um, groups and things like that people getting up and speaking and things like that so you know if this is manipulation and people are being manipulated by a leadership in a very big way then that's what it's showing here otherwise this is a physician this could be um energies of healing something and having all that you need to heal uh, a situation if you're going to be in the upright 
about it. Um, we have the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck, communication. But the Page of Cups is children. It's a surprise. It's some type of an announcement here. It's seduction, though, in the negative. What else is here? Show me another one on this magician, please. What about this magician, please? The magician was in the hidden yesterday as well. What's in the what's in the hidden on the, this magician? You hold on. I inquire at your hand and your hand alone. Is the Queen of Cups showing herself there. Show me about this magician here. In the hidden, please. We command for the truth to come to the surface, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So there's the King of Cups and then the star. Something's exposed here. Now, if the King of Cups is um, law, then he's FBI or something like that. But that's loving somebody uh, within uh, those emotions very intelligently with the King of Cups. Um, the King of Cups, if he's really manipulative, he is really intelligent with that manipula manipulation. Today on my other channel, we had, or today, um, one of the um, energies was the, the King of Cups. There was a hidden person. There was a hidden lady there. Um, and the star came out twice in the reading for today. This is the pay, the mouth, the blowing, speaking, saying something, something led and guided. But if it's in the negative and this is manipulation, then somebody is manipulating something really big then in the negative. Uh, if there's war going on in the home, and for some people that might be the case, this is walking away with the eight of uh, cups. I want to look up a couple things here. So we have the Aleph head, which is an A and a D, the DA here. We also, and there's no definition, one direction for that, but we also have a DP. So if we have a deputy uh, involved in something, then we do. Okay, if this is a hidden person in the law with the King of Cups, then we've got something going on here. Now, talking about communication, and we've just seen the Queen of Cups, so we see the King of Cups, we've seen the Page of Cups just a second ago. Um, this word, though, DP, goes, and this is communication, goes to slander, or to push, or to shove, or to thrust another away, or to cast out, or to expel someone or something here, is what's showing up here. Um, and so if this is bitterness, and the star is bitterness, and this is the pay, this is your mouth, and we got war, and we got manipulation here within something that's going on in a very big way, um, showing itself. Again, this is segregation in the negative as we know. The Aleph head and the um, Dalit, which is the emperor, the other direction, add, um, goes to smoke making reference to like wood it also is making reference to the word mist or an overwhelming abundance of ash or uh you know fire causing a cloud of dust here and if we're talking about somebody who has slandered somebody and done something has caused a smoke of dust come out of something then there is a war here because somebody's been segregated um, and something's happened within a really big fire of a situation. Okay, well, we're also told that our tongue is like a world of fire. Okay, so obviously something's going on here in a very big, big way. And we do have somebody very angry. The <laughs> emperor himself represents war. Well, <laughs> the pay and the um, aleph head here with the magician represents anger. Okay, we get that, so we get it twice then. Alone here, and this word makes anger. Well, <laughs> if this going back to meeting somebody's nostrils are just, my God, they're just snorting over something. Let me show you something, because today on the daily reading, we had, um, for the overall energy, we had the the actual so the aleph head is a bull right 
And this, look at the bull. It's got smoke running right out of its nose. And Jehovah said he was going to bully the bully. And so somebody's ticked. Well, Jehovah's ticked for slandering and, and putting people in a corner and then taking their stuff. And so let them get mad. Let them get, they didn't care when anybody else was going through something. And Jehovah don't care either. They're in strong rebellion within some type of situation. <laughs> We've got heating food here in this section with this word. I'm just moving on. So the baking of something. We know people are baking things and making things. And, um, you know, people are getting together in their home and everything else. But, there, but there's anger. <laughs> there's big up anger here. So somebody's angry because somebody uh, in the family wants to redeem uh, a person or something like that and, and, and there's some type of situation around it then that's what's showing because we have redemption type energy okay and apparently somebody's ticked well what are you ticked for you ticked because you're the person who slandered somebody maybe I mean we got the PD here we got you know obviously if it's that bad or you work for the law uh, something's going on here with some type of anger issue. You hope you just pick. We have a couple. We have a clamp here. There is a binding together as being coupled together or some, some type of uniting type of energy is here. We also have increase in a ruler and a master. And actually, that was in another deck over today's date. <laughs> That's amazing. So Jehovah's going to just bring it on out anyway. All right. So we've got abundant authority here. Uh, you know, obviously we got the PD, we got the DA here, we got the emperor who represents empires and everything else. People adding things together. They they know some stuff and there's some secrets around some people. So uh, we have judgment here and judgment and judgment was for the next three days started yesterday. Um, this is judgment for children, uh, child sacrificing, which was over the Capricorn season. Yes. Well, we got a compass here as well. We know people are traveling and stuff. Uh, we have an ember, a kindling glowing ember, and that was giving reference to wood and fire. You hope it just never ceases to amaze me, people. It just really never ceases to amaze me. Uh, we have a yoke here, and this goes back to oxen, and we, we've just seen that great big old bull just, you know, in that picture. And uh, anyway, we we know there's been money and things, inheritances that are here as well with this card. This goes back to a thousandfold, something's huge. It's taking, making reference to an elephant. Um, so there's a large number of oxen energy here as well. Well, that's groups. That's groups. Uh, clans of people are showing itself here. Uh, we also have uh, a dedication, an infant uh, dedication going on for some of you all. Um, but we also have energies of people being judged for child sacrificing in this land. And what they brought is a freaking disgrace. Uh, you have a, show me outcome, please, for this energy that you're bringing out here for this reading. So there's a baby right there. Okay, so there's a dedication going on. Then there is. Okay, and Jehovah's going to fill the land with uh, with uh, new babies for a good generation to, of uprightness. Okay, so this is also large sums of money. We're talking about a thousand fold and Jehovah's stating that he was going to return the things that have been stolen and stuff like that. Then he is. He's going to heal something here. So we got two energies of healing. And you know, the emperor and the upright would give aid somewhere. Okay. And somebody's getting clamped down um, within some type of a fellowship energy, joining together and leading together uh, in some type of a judgment. Because there is a judgment. You have a state so. Show me another one on this Ten of Pentacles. There's 19 pentacles out here, which would still break to the Ten of Pentacles or the Ace of Pentacles. And both of those showed themselves in uh, my initial reading this morning. I was just taking forever to get it uploaded. All right. Show me another one for this Ten of Pentacles. I'll put that down below eventually. Uh, a victory travel energy is here. 
um, which we know about. This is also a cut of something. This is the cutting implement. Um, people's crop and their food and we were having energies already come out about that. Um, this is the letter Z. We have zip. Um, we have peas out here. So more than one P connection. If we're talking about family, that could, um, you know, be something connected to slandering or somebody being really hot in some type of manipulation that they've done in front of people. Um, if you're dealing with, you know, people who are known, then you are the emperor represents a known figure. We do have the four pentacles here and people do know that somebody has taken something and they're not happy about it, people. Uh, three is a community or more and people do know somebody's been sitting there and holding some stupid, uh, from family and everything else. Okay. And you're stupid for doing that. You're crazy and you're under judgment for taking from your family members. One of the words that that are out here means time and it's time and things have been going on for a long time with all these pentacles um somebody was thrown out because this will actually break down to um let's see 10 11 uh, 10 14 pentacles so that's five pentacles that's somebody being thrown out of an organization okay and somebody has slandered somebody and manipulated with their little words for probably money's sake because somebody said you're holding money and now it's time for this judgment something very physical attached to this and babies and some type of dedication situation that's gone on and all this stuff that you always bringing out well, Yehovah just brought another word out here, the ZD. Uh, one direction is days. If somebody just been in a daze and they have, there wasn't a, a definition. But the other direction with the Zion and the Emperor goes to boil with pride. Well, we just really seen that with, with the ox head just snorting out of its freaking mouth in some type of anger of something. Somebody's boiling in a really big way. Actually... I want to say one of the words that came out was something being boiled today. It went to uh, bone marrow and being and to strike. We had the snake there today, which were uh, deception and lies and tricks and uh, jealousy and manipulation and all kinds of stuff. And we're, we're, we really are getting it out here. Let every word be established in two or three witnesses. You'll have to bring it on out anyway in any kind of different form that he needs to. And uh, somebody not going to get away with what they thought they were going to and trying to, um, you know, manipulate a freaking situation just ain't going to happen. We have a word out here, the zip or zap. Somebody gonna get zapped we, for some people. Uh, we got the law out here, okay? Gonna take care of you, uh, whatever you think you're doing with family and everything else, stupid crazies. We got a cover here, also going to a pitch, a thick terry uh, liquid used for covering the joints of the boat to keep them afloat. Okay, it's a bit trying to keep something afloat and um, just you know trying to tarry something and just wait and wait and going. Time was out here. Okay, time was out here. People who are upright, who's had to you know uh, really go through a hardship in this however long the time has been there's a judgment here okay connected to inheritances parents uh, children sacrificing and something going on with with traveling situations as well there's been a lot of freaking manipulation out here and so we've got honey out here as well uh, meaning you know the thick substance um, is a honeycomb but we also have had people that's just been manipulating somebody. Look, yesterday I did a reading and we had the um, the, the uh, magician with the hermit, right? And it was talking about the ox, how it act it was acting like it was really nice and kind and it wanted to corral somebody in because it was a bad manipulation. So we got a lot of fortune out here. You know, a thousand fold, if a thousand fold is going to be returned back and uh, there's a lot of uh, <laughs> money out here with the ten of pentacles and nine of pentacles and somebody really knew that there was something that they were going to try to take away. Uh, the word out here is gold, fine gold, lots of gold energy is out here. Pure stuff is out here. 
um, somebody's gonna go to jail for a long time for something that they've done. Good. Get them out of here. Point your compass and get the crap out of the earth. Go straight to jail. Because this is this is law as well that came out here. Ace of Cups. That's also a conception as well. Okay, we got two that came up. So we got the Wanjo, which is the W or the V. Uh, we know in the Hebrew that's adding things together. We have the word add out here. That's interesting. That goes back to the tip peg nail, which take it right back to your family as well. And, um, jeez. Um, you know, trying to secure something. Somebody was trying to secure something that they did very manipulatively. Um, but it looks like a P. That's interesting. We got the P here in the Hebrew, which is your mouth. Anyway, but it's a W and the V and a wave. Bye. You're going to go spend some time in the pen. Um, this goes back to satisfaction, union, faithfulness or not, complexity. It's going to be helping somebody's work because somebody's got to take advantage of in work. Um, we have people uh, uniting together and leaguing together. Uh, to do something upright because Jehovah's stating that there's a there's a judgment today. And not just for children's sacrifice. There's a judgment today overall for this day. But he's really, uh, you know, uh, bringing that about children out. And he literally brought a picture of it out here of a dedication type energy showing itself. There's also wishes are granted and dangers are going to be avoided. So somebody thought they were going to do something manipulative with this child and um, this group do something, then that's going to be turned around on the wicked. Understand? Well, you better understand. So there's a rebound after touching the bottom with this. So anyway, we also got, um, so if that looks like a P, but it's a W or the V, we have um, a whip out here. And somebody is going to get whooped. They are. Okay, we got the paw out here. If this is the grand paw, then we do. We also have a, you know, a dog energy would be out here, which would also take you to organizations. Um, a vipe is out here. The VP is out here. We had smoke. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who likes to smoke one of those, um, I don't know what they're called, but it's, it's those... Um, vapor type things whatever uh anyway that's coming out here the other rune that came out was the manaz now this has two for me as a reader um this has two runes in one this looks like the glasses for one thing with the stems okay we do have a physician you could be dealing with either you're getting you know beat up and have to go you know get your eyes checked or you are dealing with a manipulative um, physician of a kind or ophthalmologist or something like that or somebody's done that to an ophthalmologist or however this energy is going for you um, but the MD is here because the Degas is here the, which is the day right then we just have something out here about something about the day or so I don't know anyway um, but that goes back to the light and a beginning and a new cycle and fortune and marriage and intrigue thwarted. Well, obviously today we had a hidden lady somewhere. Okay, so some of you all are manipulating uh, with a relationship and somebody has uh, plotted to do something for revenge Then I guess something's happened. But this menace goes back to... Um, a legal victory, a suffered, but a legal victory in something. This is influence. Well, we have people who are influential here, leading clans of people and all kinds of crap. And people know what's happened here. They're freaking watching a stupid idiot that's done something. Um, and it's known. The, the star represents known things as well. So something's very much exposed out here. And uh, let the wicked be judged then today. So something positive is going to come from something uh, that's been, you know, uh, really horrible on some other people. It's gone on for a long time. So we have Max here is also a name, the M and the X. And so the M and the D is also found here. Like I said, so if somebody's damn mad, then they are. we already seen it. Well, let the wicked be damn mad because Jehovah's damn mad at them. They're going to be damned to hell. 
for damnation is upon them. Let them go take their own pill. Yehovah, what else do you want to bring out here, please? We have the mop out here. We have the maid and the butler that came out in my other reading today. And um, we also have the DP again out here, so a deputy. And, and so it's here, people. It really is here. Let every word be established in two or three witnesses. Or you work for the police department and you're viewing something that's going on within your um, department. Or however you need to take this energy, it's here. Somebody's going to get clamped down and go to prison for some things that they've done. Thank you, Jehovah. So we have sacred power here, and you are being encouraged to take a leading role in your current situation. So get up and do the truth, and you know information, you need to uh, expose it. So we have the angel of new life coming out here, and an exciting new chapter of your life is about to unfold. And we've got, um, we've got what looks like the onion, which we've been talking about, will take us right back to um, the flood-like energy. Okay, and some people are going to be burning. Uh, we had the energy of um, a kindle, an ember kindling and glowing, and we had the energy of the wood burning as well. All right, people, that's what come out. Enjoy your day. Shalom.